Slide to the left. Didn't want to do this. Slide to the right. I don't even think we should talk about Slide it. Slide to the left. Didn't want to. Slide to the right. Crisscross. Fine. 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 You know, here at Fitment Industries, we like to talk about wheels, especially wheel companies. Neutrally. Sometimes. Today, we get to talk about none other than the very controversial, very up and atom, very up and coming company that you all know, the most requested thing in the comments, WCF. We're doing a giveaway. Did you know that? We are giving away a free painted wheel kit from our brand new product lineup for car care. If you comment and subscribe on YouTube, you get entered in. If you share it on Facebook, you get entered in to win. The more times you comment, the more times you share, the more likely you are to win this. We'll talk more about this at the end. WCI or Water Cooled Industries was founded in March 30th of 2011 by a man named Chris Bosgraf. Bos but, um, Chris B. And Chris B actually used to be involved in water cooled industries within the European community by selling brakes, suspension, and wheels to anybody that really wanted them. It wasn't until Chris really get developed into the wheel game before he realized that there was a lack of marketing into something that had a higher service, better product, and just more creativity, especially coming into the wheel game. So Chris and WCI in general decided to launch their own wheel lineup. And they started off like the typical American dream. America is great because America is good. So when WCI was first founded, they created four designs, two renders, and one actual wheel that you could buy. Unfortunately, as a new wheel company, it was very difficult to convince people to spend $4,000 on a set of wheels that had absolutely no name. WCI tried to fix that as much as possible by just creating outstanding customer service. Interesting that I say customer service and WCI in the same sentence, but we'll get into that. So their customers had to take a leap of faith. They could go with an established brand that already had probably a lower price point, which made sense, or they could try something different. And if we know anything about the European community, we know that they enjoy different. So what happened? WCI actually sold a couple sets of wheels. It didn't take long for them to put on a couple Volkswagens, and if you go onto their About Us page, you can actually see that WCI gives them a shout out, so that's pretty cool. Once those customers took their leap of faith, it actually didn't take long for WCI to start growing a following. Their Instagram account blew up, their Facebook that they had at the time also blew up, and it didn't take long for people to start asking who WCI was and what do they sell. I think within their first year, WCI made five sets of wheels, maybe. You have to consider that at $4,000 a set, they are making pretty good money. But it became apparent that they needed to expand their lineup because you can't just sell $4,000 piece of wheels. That's just lame. In 2012, WCI began making their first directional multi-piece wheel, the CC1. And they actually claim that and tout that as being the first directional multi-piece wheel in America. And the CC1 wasn't a bad wheel. It was different, it was original, but it did have some flair to retro design. There are plenty of color options and design options, and of course you could make it to pretty much whatever you needed for your car. The CC1 was a huge success. So WCI began to grow. They expanded past the multi-piece wheel game in 2012 and they came out with the CC10, which was a monoblock, blocky one-piece cast wheel that was ultimately extremely successful with GTIs and other Volkswagen vehicles. It didn't have that high price point, which a lot of people prevented them from buying, but once they figured out that you could get that directional cast wheel from WCI, it was just another success. So their first directional cast wheel was a success, so what did WCI do? They made another cast wheel. Directional, MT-10, came out and was a huge success because of the fact that it was directional. You guys have to remember that directional wheels, for the most part, were exclusively a forged wheel or multi-piece wheel only option. So for WCI to offer that directional wheel style was awesome. So what makes WCI different than any other multi-piece wheel company that's out there right now? Well, they used to outsource that stuff, they brought it all in-house, and now they do everything from start to finish. Chris, the owner, still takes a look at aired out vehicles and sees what looks good on them in terms of overall design. Once the design gets completed, it goes over to engineers and designers to see if it's actually structurally sound. Now, WCI, do they have great quality or not great quality? Because the company is so new, I haven't heard personally of bad wheels coming out of the company, but you know, 
Yeah, we're not, yeah, I don't know. So what could go wrong? You have an awesome company that's making directional casts, multi-piece wheels, forged wheels. They're doing everything right. They've got a strong Instagram, Facebook. They've got a strong car show presence. So what could go wrong? Nothing. What could possibly go wrong with a wheel company that is aimed towards success? Well, you toss in a little bit of racism, a little bit of jealousy, and you get what happened to WCI. So if you're ready, pull up a chair and let's talk about this because I've got nothing but time. WCI has a Instagram account and this very nice Instagram account has really pretty pictures on it and things like that. The owner of WCI also has a girlfriend. That's awesome, great, right? And then the girlfriend works at a job Cool, working, America, great job. And his girlfriend was speaking with another coworker flirtatiously for a while. They found out, the owner, and he said, hey, stop that. And so the girlfriend and the coworker decided, yeah, we'll stop that. A Couple months later went by and the WCI official Instagram account allegedly decided to put this person on blast. So why is this a big deal? Well, because WCI decided to message person X on their official Instagram account. Not only that, but they decided to use every single derogatory or racist remark you could possibly imagine, where it sounded like a 10 year old on Xbox Live. Why did you cancel my Xbox Live? Hang on, I'll transfer your call. You cannot imagine that the things that would be said on a business Instagram account would be okay in any respects or regards and then not expect it to go viral. It got posted everywhere you could possibly imagine. Facebook saw over 800 shares. There was countless YouTube videos that were posted. Forums barred the website from even selling their wheels and it went on live television. Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. All right, you're great zombie. It was absolutely terrible. Wednesday morning, Dominic LeBron woke up stunned reading these messages from Instagram sent around 4 a.m. I just want people to know that racism is still alive and it's still here in Holland. And I just wanna raise awareness and try to change something. I think the worst part about this entire thing is the fact that there was no official announcement of what had happened. The entire thing unveiled. WCI didn't do anything. They just let the whole thing roll out. Nobody made an announcement. WCI didn't come out with any sort of press report or anything like that. And that's what I think truly, truly destroyed their name. So we're doing another giveaway, but this time it's brand new care kits that Fitment Industries, we have built over like the past year. We spent a lot of time making this stuff for you guys and we want you to try it out. So here's what we're willing to offer. We have 10 individual products and six care kits. This is one of the kits, this is the painted wheel kit. This takes care of your painted wheels. We wanna give this away this week. What you need to do if you're on YouTube is comment and subscribe. That's pretty simple. If you're on Facebook, all you need to do is share the video. You can like it and comment too, but we want the share. That's the most important thing. Now here's the bigger catch. You'll get entered in one drawing. If you share it or if you comment and subscribe on YouTube, you'll get one uh, entry. But between now and March 17th, we're gonna be putting out videos like every single day. If you share those, we'll actually keep track of that and you'll get another point. So that is what we have for you guys. We hope you enjoy. Drop a comment on what you'd like to see next and uh, check this stuff out if you want to. www.fitmentindustries.com forward slash car care is where you can see all the products that we have available like high foam soap and quick interior detailing. That's the second part of our sales pitch. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. We will see you later. Peace.